Hey guys, welcome to week 3 of e-learning. I hope you've all been practicing every day and keeping your vocal cords in really good shape. Thank you to all the parents who send pictures and videos every week. I really appreciate that. Also to let you know that the YouTube challenge is still open. I'm waiting for videos of your kids performing Give With Your Heart and creating their own actions for the song. Very soon I'm going to compile all of that into a YouTube video. Parents, just to remind you once more, we've got timestamps below in the description box. You could just go down to the relevant part by clicking on the timestamp that you want. You could also teach your kids about how to use timestamps. It is a really good feature to know. So today we're going to start off with Give With Your Heart and we're going to combine that with Dynamics. Now you guys have already done Dynamics. You know it from Pianissimo, which is very soft, to Fortissimo, which is very loud. If you use the correct dynamics with a song, it can enhance, it can make a song really sound better. For example, if you are singing a happy song, you don't want to use pianissimo because that doesn't convey your happiness, your excitement, your joy. And in the same way, if you want to do a song that is soft and has a very sad emotion, you don't want to use fortissimo, you don't want to shout it out because then it shows a lot of aggression, it shows a lot of excitement, it doesn't show something that conveys sadness. So when we do give with your heart, the emotion here is about sympathy, about sharing, about caring and you want to do that using a soft emotion, which is why we're going to use piano, not pianissimo. Now if you use pianissimo, what's going to happen is your voice is going to be softer than the volume of the music. You want it to match. So you need to use your ears and then follow up with piano. I'm going to play the song now. Remember to use piano to sing Give With Your Heart.
Well, that was fun. Let's move on to revision now. I'm going to play a series of songs. I'm not going to talk in between them. So you have the next five to 10 minutes only to sing. Enjoy. Be kind to one another. Your sisters and your brothers. Walking through the jungle. What do you see? I think I see a lion chasing after me. Floating on the ocean. What do you see? I think I see a whale chasing after me. Climbing in the mountain, what do you see? I think I see a wolf chasing after me. Swimming in the river, what do you see? I think I see a crocodile chasing after me. Trekking in the desert, what do you see? I think I see a snake chasing after me. Slipping on the iceberg, what do you see? I think I see a polar bear. Chasing after me Running home for supper Where have you been? I've been around the world and back I've been around the world and back And guess what I've seen? And guess what I've seen?
so very sad Now we'll make it glad golden sun please shine down on me oh mr sun sun mr golden sun hiding behind the tree these little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you oh mr sun 
Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Shine down on me. Shine, shine, shine. Shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Mr. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Okay, guys, that's all we've got for today. Remember that the YouTube challenge is still on. Parents, once your kids know the song really well, make sure that you record them performing. They've got to create their own actions to it. They've got to express what they feel as they are singing the song. I'm going to compile all of it and then put it together in a YouTube video. Your child could be the next YouTube star. Okay, remember to stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, and most importantly, sing every day in the morning. In fact, if you could start your day off by singing in the morning, it would really help your vocal cords get in shape. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.